What in the goddamn? Today we're pouring one out for another Fallout legend, Matthew Perry, who of course gained fame portraying Chandler and Friends and was one of the most visible stars of the 90s. But he wouldn't enter the post-apocalyptic sphere until the release of Fallout 3. After the game's release, he appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show in 2009 and donated a signed copy of the game to raise money for the Humane Society, even revealing he played it to the point he physically injured himself, an achievement that few fans have likely attained. Um, I uh, wanted to donate to you guys, I played this video game, uh, I've talked about this before, but I played a video game so often that I, ha that I injured my hand so severely that I had to go to a hand doctor and get injections in my hand because I love this video game so much. So the game is called uh, Fallout 3, and... Reportedly, this interaction led to his involvement in New Vegas, where he was cast in one of the game's best roles as the antagonist Benny. Benny's dialogue was well-written, but Matthew really brought the character to life with his passion and enthusiasm for the world. Seven years. Took over three days after Mr. House introduced himself. Our chief at the time, mountain of a guy named Bingo, wanted to stay nomadic. I disagreed, so he challenged me to the knife. He looked so surprised when I stuck that knife in his neck. Thought he was so tough, but he was so slow. That's how I made chief. It's how things were back then. Given that the intro and early sections of the main quest line revolve around him, I don't think that playing New Vegas will ever quite be the same to me. In the same way that Dead Money was never quite the same after the passing of Richard Hurd. Baby, you can't just leave me tied up. Those Legion boys will put me on a cross for the mess you made, if I'm lucky. This was his only involvement in the franchise, but his love for the series was very endearing. Throughout his life he struggled with addiction, but beautifully helped others by transforming his former Malibu home into a transitional space for recovering addicts. In my experience, words are typically ineffective against the grief of death, but there's some solace in that he got to become an integral part of one of his favorite games, and will forever be immortalized in it. Fallout is just bigger and smarter than any game I've played before. There's like just amazing amounts of things to do, and I like the idea that you can, you know, sort of pick what you're going to say to somebody and go on all these quests, and it's just this gigantic world that seems sort of endless. Like I said, baby, all Benny needs is a stealth boy and a bobby pin. I also, you know, have gone on dates and stuff, too. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not just a moron who just plays video games. I just want to get that in there.